All right, hello everyone. I want to share a word I received a few moments ago and a couple thoughts. Um, so I guess a couple thoughts are, you know, I know like there's a lot of people that come against the rapture of the church. And, uh, you know, I just want to say this, you know, the Lord appearing on the clouds and his elect meeting him in the air in the clouds is different than ascending on the Mount of Olives. Two different things. Um, that's pretty obvious. Um, another thing I want to mention is, you know, oftentimes I'll post all these rapture verses. I did a big, big study on the rapture and, um, you know, it can be proven in, in the, in the verses that, that I've provided. Um, and, you know, people always have, make the same comments, the same arguments, the same quote the same verses and say the same things, um, you know, like tribulation, they'll, they'll, they'll talk about that. Well, my whole life has been a tribulation and the Lord says in this life, we will have tribulation. So it's not, when the word tribulation is in the Bible, it's not talking to the great tribulation, unlike no, none other that hasn't occurred yet. It's going to be like nothing else the earth has experienced. So anyway, and you know, I'm feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. And you know, if, you, if you're not going to read, and there was one person that even said, you know, um, had a question about we were to alive and remain and who was that referring to? And I didn't answer the question. I just gave a Bible app, go access the verses, read it yourself. You know, I, I don't always feel like answering everyone's questions. I'd rather bring the water to them, but I can't make them drink. <laughs> I can't make people be a Berean and read the Bible. Like, it says, um, you know, so when the Lord appears, they which are alive and remain, right? The people that truly know him, his elect. Um, anyway, so then, then someone had asked, I think they might have asked if I thought the Antichrist will be revealed um, personally. I have my suspicions, um, you know, on who I believe the Antichrist is. But, you know, again, Satan is a great deceiver, and he's even going to appear as an angel of light to um, deceive the very elect, if it were possible. So if you're part of the Lord's elect, you can't be deceived, and you're also led in a spirit of truth. But again, there's a lot of people in religion and a lot of people who... I think, you know, people hear things and you wonder, you know, they'll regurgitate talking points or things they've heard over and over and over again, perhaps from some minister or some, some preacher or something. Um, and there's a heck of a lot of preachers out there. They're not preaching the truth. And those of us that know the Lord and those of us that study his word and seek him for discernment and we're led in the spirit of truth, we know this. So anyway, this is from Second Thessalonians. And this says, So now I beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. And I heard that back in 2015, that the time of my coming is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Now, some people interpret that as a falling away it could be the elector taken away. Some people say it's people leaving the Lord. Um, what do I 
think it means. I mean, I don't really worry about it too much. I just say be ready at all times because the specific signs that Jesus said were going to happen before he does come on the clouds and does return and his elect meet him in the air. Again, different than descending onto the Mount of Olives. Um, these things are all happening. So, you know, this is something anyone can study easily. Just, you know, the Euphrates River, the, what is it? The, the red, the, no. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if it's this Lyme disease I had or what, but I'm just kind of forgetting. But um, the Dead Sea coming to life, not the Red Sea. But so many other things. And probably the biggest one is that um, Acts 2.17 and Joel 2.28 say that people who have dreams prophesy and have visions. Some have said you can't have all three. And why well, I say then read Numbers 12.6. And I'm going to let you read that. Just go check it out. Um, so you can have all three. And I've been having all three of these things since 2015. So... To finish this verse in Thessalonians chapter 2, um, 2 Thessalonians. So again, um, the day as that the day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means. This is verse 3. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So believe that's the Antichrist. And again, I have my, my um, assumptions on who that particularly could be. Um, but, you know, I'm not, I don't know exactly for sure, but if I'm still around when, <laughs> you know, on this earth, I'm not going to be deceived. I know that because I definitely most certainly know the Lord. Um, another person asked me about um, praying in tongues, and I have shared my experience that would be with you before. Um, now, I have prayed in tongues. Um, it's not something I always seek to do. Um, the Bible says don't, what, don't despise praying in tongues or, you know, something like that. I forget exactly what it says, but also... It says when you pray in tongues, there's got to be an interpreter, especially like when you do it in a church. Um, if I'm praying to the Lord and, you know, I'm praying in tongues or, you know, which actually I don't do it very often, but it's not anything I personally have pursued and, you know, to, to like seriously i guess pursued now again i've said i've prayed in tongues but when i pray i just pray like the prayer the lord gave me which i'll post um and the reason is is because i've throughout my life i've seen a lot of people praying in tongues but i have almost never gotten an interpretation like literally almost never and i question whether people have read this word because the Bible is clear, there needs to be an interpreter. And I question whether those people know the Lord if there is no interpretation. So, um, on two separate occasions, I, some people have asked to pray with me. And, and actually, once I went to a church and was asking to be prayed with with some elders. And they all started putting their hands on me and praying in tongues. There was like four people, no interpretation at all. Nobody told me what was going on. And then one of the ladies, I just felt this weird presence and she even cackled like some kind of witch. So again, if people approach me and they want to pray in tongues, I want to make it very clear that I want an interpretation or don't, don't speak in tongues. Another time there was a guy who asked to pray with me and he kind of put his hand on my chest and like, then he was like, like pushing on it and almost to the point where it was like painful. And I was sort of a new Christian at that point, And I didn't 
know a whole lot and I just said, yeah, you can pray with me. But um, it just seemed very weird. And again, there was no interpretation. So I just wanted to share that. Um, you know, I believe it's a gift, like a lot of gifts, gifts of prophecy. And the Lord uses different people. And there are many various gifts. This isn't the word. There's teachers, there's preachers, there's prophets, there's people that have gifts of healing and things like that. So um, I do believe, again, that when you truly know the Lord, you're led in a spirit of truth. So I wanted to share those thoughts. And this is the word that I received a short time ago. Your Lord is mighty and sovereign and subdueth the enemy under his feet. Who is he that searcheth his ways and understandeth the truth? But yea, it is written, those who seek find, and they who know him are led in his spirit of truth. And so it is, a, and so it is written, the elect shall not be deceived nor caught unaware, but they, given to doctrines of demons, shall face the judgment. Yea, his time is come, and so ye saints see the signs. But they with blind eyes shall not see, for I have called, and they did not answer, nor have they hearkened to my prophets. They not know truth, for the truth is not in them, but given to religion, they obey not my commandments. But yea, ye given to truth, know the time is nigh. So then, sanctify thyselves in him, that's Jesus, Rebuke all your thoughts. Take every thought captive. Seek not to sin, but when you sin, Jesus is your advocate. That's First John 2. And also discern the spirits as in First John 4. So anyway, so then it says, But yea, ye given to truth know the time is nigh, and then sanctify thyselves in him until he appeareth, for the time is short. Be at peace until the day come. All right, so that's the word. And I think later today, I'm going to share, um, <laughs> I'm going to share um, a testimony video and also put a lot of um, information in the comments on false doctrines, like the verses that we have the right to defend ourselves, the verses that we can drink, just don't be drunk verses that we don't have to attend church on the Sabbath, um, the rapture, the Trinity, you know, Jesus basically is God in the flesh, um, all these things. And again, I'll post um, what Bible that we should be reading, and I'll share the Truth is Christ channel because the dude's awesome. Um, and again, a lot of Bibles are different, and they've come later, so... Anyway, I, um, I mean, they've come later and changed the word. So I've mentioned a lot of books are totally, totally just changed the word, often subtly, but all out to deceive. So, all right, everyone, that's all I got to say. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.